WPERP is full of effective features and functions for the users. Payroll extension is one of the many features that make work easier. WPERP payroll extension helps you to create an employee list and manage their remuneration in a structured way. Let's see how you can use the WPERP payroll extension easily. To install WPERP payroll, navigate to plugins, click on add new, and upload the WPERP payroll. Next up, you will get the setup wizard for the WPERP payroll. Now, select your convenient payment method. Then, hit the continue button to proceed. Now, you can directly create the pay calendar or go to the payroll dashboard. Your setup is done. Now move to payroll settings. Click on payroll. You will find two types of settings that will help you to configure the payroll system. Payment settings This setting allows you to select the method of payment you want to process, cash, check or bank. Pay item settings This overview page gives you a bird's eye view of your payroll system. It clearly illustrates usable and important insights about the system including, total expenses. Total pay calendar created. Times pay calendar approved. Spent on the previous month. Latest list of pay run records. Payroll history with smart insights. Before you create a pay calendar or approve a pay run, you need to set basic salary and other relevant details for your employees. To add payroll basic information, navigate to HR. Then goes to employees. Now, select an employee and view his, her profile. Then, click on the Payroll tab, which has been created after you have installed and activated the Payroll extension. Enter the necessary information on the Payroll Basic and Tax Info section and click on the Submit button. If you want to add a fixed allowance for your employee, then select the Pay Item and Pay Item Payment Amount in the Fixed Allowance Payments and hit the Save button. You can do the same for Fixed Deduction Payments and Tax. You can also set a specific payment method for each of your employees. All the provided fixed allowance, fixed deduction, and tax information will be added in the detail information at a glance section of your employee's payroll tab. Now go to Pay Calendar. Click on the Add New Pay Calendar button to create a new pay calendar. Now, you will be redirected to the Pay Calendar Settings page. Enter the calendar name and calendar type. You can also specify the normal payday. However, it is optional. Click on the Add Employee button, a pop-up will appear in which all the departments and designation from the HERM module will be available. Select the department or designation you want to add to this list and click on the Add Employee to the List button. You will see the list of your employees you have selected including their email, department, and designation. Finally, click on the Create Pay Calendar button to complete the process and you will be redirected to the Pay Calendar List page. Now, click on the Start Pay Run button of a Pay Calendar. You will be redirected to the Pay Run page. Select the form, to and payment date. You will find the employee list with relevant information and pay a basic amount. Now, click on the next button. Here you have to specify the variable input options. You can add allowance and deduction amounts if required and click the next button. Here review the payslips of your employees. You can also print the payslips if you want. Now, click on the next button. In the final step, you have to approve the pay run if everything seems okay. Click on the Approve button and it will approve the pay run. You can view the pay run list by navigating to Payroll and click on Pay Run. 
the HR manager has to go through a hassle every time at the end of the month when it comes to salary. But not anymore. With the copy approval option, he, she can easily copy the whole pay run at a click of the button. To copy the pay run just click on the copy approval button and the whole process will be copied. You can also generate useful and meaningful reports with this extension. To generate employee reports, click on the view report button. Provide the time duration. Finally, click on the search button to generate reports. Similar way you can see the pay run summary reports. In admin can view payslips, admin can see the payslips from the employee profile. Click on any employee name. Then click on the payslip on top of the menu bar. There you will find the details of the recent month's pay calendar. If you want to find any information about the previous month's pay calendar, simply choose a month and the year. It will automatically show that year and month's information. In employee payslip admin you can easily get a preview and print the payslip of that particular month or year. Just click on the I button to get a sneak peek of the payslip. Payslip email When a payslip is passed for an employee, he, she will get an email. All you need to do is enable employee payslip email. To enable it navigate to settings then go to email. There you can enable employee payslip mail. You can also configure the email as you want. In employee payslip the employees can view the payslips on their overview dashboard. They can view the most 5 recent payslips. That's how easy it is to work with WordPress payroll plugin. Download WPERP and manage your payroll system in a more effective way.